All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, this video is to show you how to take apart the D-Link 657 or HD Media Router, whichever you want to call it. I've got a lot of uh, requests to show how you remove the bottom and top plates, where you solder the antenna extensions to, and stuff like that. So I'll show you how to take it apart. First thing you want to do is get some type of cloth. I use microfiber cloth because I care about what I'm taking apart. I don't want to scratch it up by pushing on the desk or any other surface that I use when I repair anything. An iPad goes in a microfiber cloth. Cell phone, microfiber cloth. Even if it's something that's rugged, I always put it on a cloth. You don't want to mark it up any more than what you have to. Also, some people ask why I use a flathead screwdriver when I'm taking out Phillips screws. A flathead screwdriver that fits the Phillips head screw perfectly will not mar the screw like a flathead screwdriver can do. So if you get one that fits the Phillips screws perfectly and there's no wiggle room, it will not mar the screw if you take your time. So let's get started. I'll take this apart, show you how to take it apart, and show you how I did the insides. Let's remove the four screws. I've already taken off. There's rubber feet that cover each one of these in the back, and there are rubber screw concealers in here. I pop these out, pop those off, and just remove the screws for these. There's only four. Once you have those out, flip it over. Just flip it directly over. And from the back, pull, t pull towards you. And that's it. We'll set this aside. The router motherboard is held in with mechanical retention. There are no internal screws that hold the motherboard in. Mechanical retention, if you don't know what that is, here's an example. This post, these pieces around here, when it's clipped together and screwed together, push on the motherboard and hold it in place when this lid is pushed on. A lot of companies are using mechanical retention because it's cheaper. Internal screws, even though they cost two to three pennies you know, each, when you're manufacturing hundreds of thousands of these, these add up. So since there's no mechanical retention, you can take carefully your flathead or whatever and just pull the board out. Since I have these antenna extensions screwed in, I can't completely remove my board. So I'm not going to right now. I want to put it back in. But I will show you where I am soldering the extensions. Here you can see these are the factory locations when the modem is or the router is manufactured. I've said modem in the before. I'm an idiot. So remove these plates here by heating up the solder on the underneath side. Take your time go back and forth from the two places and you'll see it start to wiggle turn it upside down it eventually just fall off so just take your time don't pull on it don't go at an angle you can break the traces on the board and then it's more difficult to find another solder point so for this one here I soldered onto here and just let it go back somebody asked if I cut the connections off the end of these yes cut the connections off it's shielded cable so you'll strip the internal piece of uh, wire sheathing and then just twist the two together and solder it to here. This cable was already on the, the router, this piece here. It's just a connection from one to the other. The other side is the same exact way. Cut the connector off, follow it back from the factory location, mm -hmm. and there's your solder point. This is the same way I just took my time on the two pieces on the other side and the internal metal antenna just fell off. It just takes a few minutes to take time. So you can see they screw in once you I use a um, a, a drill bit that I forget what they call it um, but it's um, it's just a variable drill bit. It allows you to drill variable size holes with the same bit I use one of those because uh, it will smoothen or concave the hole and make it a better fit on the opposite side here. 
It doesn't mar it up. It doesn't splinter the plastic. It doesn't, you know, make it a sharp hole. It makes it look like it's a factory antenna. Um, I'll try to find a better link for these. I put one link in my description. Um, looks like that eBay seller isn't selling them anymore. So I'll find another link, another link and I'll put it in the video. Uh, if you need any other questions answered, let me know. But this should give you a general idea of how you take it apart, where you solder on the motherboard. Yes, you cut the connectors off on when you buy the antenna extensions. I just cut it off right at the connector. I don't go in on the wire at all. I just cut it right off. Um, and then you just peel, strip back the insulation, twist them together, or you will see where you solder each one on here. So just take your time. If you don't have previous soldering experience, it's kind of difficult because of how small the solder pads are. But just if you're new at it, just make sure you have a fine tip soldering iron and you take your time. Don't rush. You'll ruin everything and it'll be in worse condition than it was when you first bought it. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Leave a comment. Um, I'll probably end up giving this away. Once I get to a certain amount of subscribers, I'll probably end up having a little contest where you can just win this. Um, they're so cheap now, it's not a point to try to sell it, so I'll probably just give it away. If you're interested, just leave a comment. Alright, have a nice day.